Fine today. Uh, Representative Mark Souter will announce his resignation today uh, amid allegations of an affair with a staffer in his district office. Well, let's go now to Steve Brown, who's standing by in Bowling Green, Kentucky, uh, but, but knows a bit about this. Uh, so what can you tell us, Steve? Well, we can tell you that uh, Souter's been the subject of a lot of rumors back in his district, which is essentially the Fort Wayne area, northeast corner of Indiana, for some time that there may have been an incident involving a Department of Natural Resources officer who may have walked up on a vehicle which contained Souter and the woman he is alleged to have an affair with, believed to be a 45-year-old longtime staffer working within the district. Um, Souter had been talking to supporters saying that he was the subject of vicious rumors and that there was a lot of revenge politics at play and essentially trying to knock down the story. But uh, as Chad Pergram, our senior producer over at the House of Representatives, uh, has uh, detailed in a Foxwire earlier uh, just a few minutes ago, that this is a situation which uh, Souter was uh, essentially uh, about to become a subject of an ethics committee probe because of what was going on. We know that there's been a lot of backroom chatter amongst the uh, folks within the Republican ranks inside the House of Representatives and with the Republican Party in the state of Indiana. It is our understanding that Governor Mitch Daniels may have been told about this as late as late last night and that there is expected to be a statement from Souter coming about about 10 o'clock this morning to at least supporters. We don't know yet whether or not Souter will face the microphones and the cameras and announce his resignation or whether this will just be a paper statement. But Mark Souter, who's been the subject of rumors about having an affair with a staffer, apparently is going to resign for exactly that reason uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern time yeah. today. You know, Steve, plenty of people on Capitol Hill uh, on both the Senate and Republican side have had affairs and they have survived it politically. But what makes it difficult for Souter He's a little bit different. First of all, he barely survived a very tough re-election campaign just two years ago. And you go all the way True. back to his original election uh, to Congress during the so-called so -called Republican Revolution of 94. He ran on a family values uh, sort of platform. And so obviously this provides special fodder uh, against him in his re-election campaign, right? And yes, that's absolutely true. I mean, this is a guy that survived uh, a three-way primary just uh, a few weeks ago and now is uh, facing a general, would have been facing a general election campaign as a family values Republican having had an affair with a staffer. So uh, if uh, politically dangerous to have an affair and get caught as a member of Congress, it's doubly dangerous or doubly deadly, if you will, if it involves somebody else who's on the federal payroll and this woman was. So um, it does appear that Souter is going to be, uh, would, would have been put in a box uh, nonetheless. Uh, I do know that there are folks that were close to both Souter and this woman who had uh, been passing information back and forth uh, amongst a, a tight circle of folks with Souter about what was going on. So uh, this has been a development that's been unfolding over the course of the last couple of weeks. Souter did miss votes in the House last week, which did raise some eyebrows back in D.C. Uh, the story coming out of his office was that his wife had some sort of bladder or kidney infection and that he was attending to her at home. But this is when those rumors were really starting to fly in the district that something was going to pop and something was going to right. pop soon in terms of Souter coming forward on this. Um, you, you do begin to wonder in hindsight if that was in fact the case. Well, there's got to be a lot more to this story because multiple sources on the Hill are saying that the, the extent of the affair would have landed him right front and center in the House Ethics Committee. So we'll wait and see as those details emerge. Steve Brown, thanks so much.